Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 18. Write your name first. And this first one, we're doing more practice with, um, with uh, matching up equal expressions. Uh, the pictures, it says the pictures below are not equal. Make the pictures equal. So first we, we're going to have to change the picture a little bit or add to it. And then we're going to have to write a true number sentence. So let's look at the first box. This is this box here. We're going to write this as an expression. And I'm going to call this stuff on the left. You might remember from homework 17. Uh, the stuff on the left of the equal sign has to equal the stuff on the right of the equal sign. Right? There's going to be an equal sign in the middle between these two expressions. So we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four, five small hearts plus one, two, three, four big hearts. That's nine hearts, right? I'm going to write a little nine underneath just so I can keep track of what the totals are and make sure that they're going to match. And now I look at the other box. So this other box is going to have to have nine of whatever it has in it. Nine, it's got smiley faces. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six smiley faces. We need it to have nine. So I'm making the pictures equal. So you have to draw this part. That's six. All right, so seven, eight, nine. And we have, uh, so we have a six. This, this box right here, this is, the, this is our stuff on the right. That's six smiley faces. And then there's plus the three more that I drew came to nine smiley faces. And so now we have a true number sentence. The five plus four here on the right, on the left, I mean, sorry. Five plus four on the left, that equals nine. And it equals the stuff on the right of the equal sign which is the 6 plus 3, and that's also 9. So we see, the, look at the bottom, we see 9 equals 9. We're done. Number 2. Circle the true number sentences and rewrite the false sentences to make them true. So first things first, I'm going to circle the true number sentences. So I'm going to look at just A... In just in alphabetical order, A, does 4 equal 4? Yes, so I'm going to circle it. I'm going to look at B, and now this is a trick that, it's really not such a trick, but I'm going to write down what each expression is on each side of the equal sign, so I can just keep track of this. 5 plus 1, that's 1 more than 5, so that one's 6. And this side on the right here, that's 6 plus 1, that's 7. That's not true. 6 does not equal 7, so that's not a true number sentence. So I'm not going to circle it. And on, uh, we'll look at C. And we have 3 plus 2, that's 5. And 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 equals 5, so that one's true, so I'm going to circle that one. 6 plus 2 is 6, 7, 8. 4 plus 4, that's a double that equals 8. So those 8 equals 8, that one's true. The stuff on the left equals the stuff on the right. And then we have uh, 3 plus 3, that's 6. And then it's, we already have 6 right here. That's six, 2 more, 6, 7, 8, that's 8. So that one's not true. 6 does not equal 8, so we'll leave that one alone. And then we'll go on to F. That's 9 plus 0, that's 9, and 7 plus 2, that's 7, 8, 9, that's 9. So 9 equals 9, that was true. Both expressions are equal. And then I'll go down here to G. 4 plus 3 is 7, and 2 plus 4 is, you might be able to guess, that we, and we have 4 here and a 4 here, so those are the same. But this 3 is going to more than that 2, so this is this 3 is going to be 1 more than 2, so the 7 is going to be 1 more that this one's going to be 6. Or you might just think 4, 5, 6, and that's 6. That one's not true. 7 does not equal 6, so I'm not going to circle that. Let me just 
erase it just to make sure that doesn't look like I'm circling it. I want to be careful about that. So that now in H we have eight. That's an expression. You can have a, just a, a number, and that and then just a number all by itself is also can be called an expression. So we have eight equals eight plus zero. Eight plus zero is also eight, so eight is equal to eight, and we can circle that. That's true. And now we'll look at the last one. Six plus three is six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. And then the five plus four, that's, ooh, five plus five would be 10. So that's like double minus one. So that, that's also nine. It's one less than 10, right? So that's a nine, nine equals nine. So I can circle that one too. All right. So now we have, we've circled all the true number sentences. That part's done. And now we have to rewrite the false sentences to make them true. So we have three false sentences. We have just have to fix them. There's lots of different ways to fix them. You don't have to fix them exactly the same way I do. You just have to change one of the numbers uh, in one of the expressions so that the both expressions are, are the same. And I can give you an example of the first one. And maybe you, that'll be enough that you can figure out how to do the others. So we'll, I'll, go, I'll start here with B. Now here we have six here on the left and seven on the right. So I can just start off with uh, five plus one. I'll keep that one the same. And that's going to equal, and now I have to change one of the numbers, either the six or the one. The thing is that if this expression, five plus one equals six, then this one also has, the one on the right here that I'm about to do, also has to equal six. I can say six. I could just leave it like that, but I can't add one more because then it'll be seven and it won't be equal to six anymore. But I can add a zero. And that works. So now both the expression to the left of the equal sign is six, and the expression, the stuff on the right of the equal sign, that's also six. So now it's a true number sentence. So maybe uh, you can pause it and uh, try the next one. Try E. Um, we've got six on one side and eight on the other. And so I'm going to start with three plus three. And I can do the same thing I did before. And three plus three is six right there. But I could just, I can make the six smaller instead, right? So I'm, I'm going to, what if I'm going to add two to it? I'm just going to change one of the numbers. I suppose I could change both of them, but there's lots of ways to change it. Uh, I wanted to add something that adds up to 6 that already has a 2 in it. 4 plus 2 is 6. So now I have 3 plus 3, that's 6. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 is 6. So, okay, I made it. I made a true number sense. And this next one we have 4. I'll just start with 4 plus 3 because that's the sign of the first one. And then 2 plus... Oh, I goofed. Well, you know what? Um, maybe I'll just go with it. It doesn't say I can't change everything. So, 4 plus 7, I want to count that up. That's 11, isn't it? All right, I, 4 plus 6 would be 10, and 7 is one more. So, that's 11. And you can count it up, too. So now I need something, 2 plus something, and I have to figure out what do I have to add to 2 to make it 11. Um, and if you count it up, it's going to take 9 more to make 11. And that would fix it. There's lots of other ways to do it. All you have to do is change some part of those uh, those expressions so that, uh, so that the two expressions are equal. And that's how you fix B, E, and G. Now we have a little bit more. Uh, find the missing part to make the number sentences true. And it's a little bit like what we were just doing at the bottom of the last page, fixing the last number to make the uh, expression on the right, or make one of the expressions match the other expression. So here we go, we've got A. We've got 8 plus 0 on that side, so that's 8, of course. 
and we need something that we need to add something to four to make it add up to eight. So four, what do we need? Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's four more. Four plus four is eight. And now the two sides are equal. They're both eight. This seven plus two is seven, eight, nine. That side's nine. And so this side, if this side, if this is nine, then this also has to be nine. And we already have nine there, so we just need zero more. We can't add any more than zero. And now if you've seen a couple of them, maybe you can just try the other ones, pause it, and then check them. All right, so 5 plus 2, that's uh, 5, 6, 7, 7. And then 4, we need to add up to, we, add, we need to add on to 4 to equal 7, so it's 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 3 more. D right here. Now we've got to change, we've got to figure out the stuff on the right first so we can figure out what the stuff on the left is supposed to be. So we've got the 6 plus 0, that's a 6. So 5 needs what? 1 more to be 6. And then we have this one, this expression we can figure out, because that's 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7. And 6 is going to need 1 more to equal 7. Right? So now the two expressions are equal. And on this one here, we have 5 plus 4. That one's 9. And we need something that we can add to 3 to make it 9. And then if you count that up, you can find out you're going to need 6 more for this side, for this expression to equal 9. And now the two, the two expressions equal 9.